What's up YouTube? This is Zach with Veteran Construction. Today we are going to wrap this door and uh, I'm gonna put these little brick mold bends in it. So let's show you how to do that. I'm gonna do one inch bend in here. And then I'm gonna come out here. It's gonna follow this little contour. And then we're gonna come back. And the goal is, the goal is to come back and get flush with this seal right here. So we're basically just trying to cover up all of this almond color here. So we're gonna do that, get some nice 45s on here. So let's roll with it. I've, uh, I've got these pieces or this piece cut. Basically all I did was measure from the top to the bottom. I measured the exact brick mold because you're gonna have this little drop down right here. So I measured it basically exact. So it should be uh, pretty simple to get my numbers. May end up having to trim a little off the top or something. We'll see how it goes. So our numbers were, our numbers were one inch. And then I came out this way. It's about a perfect two and a half. Get up a little closer. It's about a perfect two and a half to here, but I'm gonna do two and five eighths because this bend is gonna act a little funky, okay? Now, I have to pull from here now to find out where this is gonna be. Pull that camera right here. You see, it's it's pretty much exactly three and a half to this, to this edge right here. I'm actually gonna read to this edge out here, this protruding edge, because that's gonna be three and three quarter, because if I, uh, if we put this bend on there, and you'll see in a little bit, if I were to do the three and a half number, which is what I did earlier, and try to pull it tight in here, it's gonna make, instead of this being flush, it's gonna flex that, that in, and that's gonna make our 45 look like shit. So, let's pull these numbers. We've got one inch, then we had two and five eighths, so three and five eighths, and then it, is what seven and seven and uh, three eighths all right and that's my cut mark three and five eighths seven and three eighths all right so we've just done this on this side now you see that that's three and three quarter there's my two and five eighths you good yep So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna bend our 90 here at our one inch lift. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get it out of there. There we go, should be good. All right, you good? Yep. All right, so we're gonna give this a, give that a send. All right, so that looks about good now. So here's what we're gonna do. So I'm just gonna pull this out. You're good. We're gonna clamp it on. Now, is that your phone? Go put that somewhere, <laughs> ruining my video. All right, so what we're gonna do now is, this is the brake buddy here. It comes with a couple attachments. This one, dang, this thing was like 500 bucks, but it also comes with this one. This is just to put like a little design. I think it even adds some strength to fascia and stuff. So it came with this one. I don't think that this is like a true brick mold, you know, fitting, but it does look nice. So it's got these, uh, these like lasered on measurements. So I set it to a half inch because if you look over here, so yeah, we've only got a half inch to where this starts that contour. So, all right. Now it doesn't matter which side you run this from because if I run it this way or if I run it this way, it's the same difference. So it's got this little thing in here. You'd hook it on that bend. Now you do want to be careful because I've noticed that in the beginning and at the end, if, if you don't hold this super stiff, that the uh it can start to curve at the end it's not really the end of the world but um you know you don't want that so i always just ease it on i keep a little bit of my fingers on the bottom just get it going try to keep it nice and straight i'm holding this more or less at the 90 rather than um letting the metal tell me where 90 is get curvy at the end i screwed that up probably it's all right though so now we just put it to that mark. You good, bro? Yep. Let me get that a set. Now we need to look at this for 90. 
Not this part because we ran that thing down it. So that looks pretty good. Now, yeah, there's no curve on that. So that turned out really nice and straight. Damn it, Boyka, you got my way. All right, now like I said on the bottom here, we gotta reach that. So we're gonna have to take out about a half inch or so. And then uh, that'll fit a little nicer. So this is my bottom here. What I'll do is, um, rather than starting at a half inch here, it's kind of got a little bit of an angle to it. Start more about five eighths. Work my way down to roughly half an inch. And I'll take that off. Right. Now this should work on here. Yeah. Touch that bottom. Yeah, it covers. All right. So what I'll do is I'll pull this out just a hair. Try to get an accurate number here. Go like that, something. It should be close enough because, um, you know, we're gonna have to caulk that and everything. We just take this whole thing off square. All right. Usually before I make my cut, I just run this knife in here. times and then actually what I'm gonna do here too rather than taking this all the way over towards this end I'm gonna walk this up a little bit let me show you why so I'm gonna go straight up until I get to about here and then we can send that up to there and the reason being is that's gonna help you not have a gap right here so look I came straight off this mark I'll just drew on the door Damn, that should have been that way. But anyway, I came straight off this mark. So we have all this room in here to play. So I cut that angle upwards a little bit so that when the 45 comes in on top, we don't have a gap. Yeah, yeah see I do I have a smidgen tall up top. So that's pretty good. That's, that's good. I'll take that. be golden like a shower now so I just needed a little more of an angle on this so just do that part she's in so so what we'll do is you know, you see how nice and square that is still? Like, that's gonna look nice. So what we'll do is, uh, when we come through and we trim nail this, I probably should have scored this twice, that would look a little cleaner. We'll do that better on the other side. But what we'll do is we'll just make sure it's flush with that and trim nail it, all right? But right now, I'm just gonna leave this unnailed. Right, keep over here. Keep it on me because I work better if I feel like people are watching. I start slacking off. I'll go ahead and secure these now so it looks good. We're just gonna put a lot of times I'll just glue these, but did these you know this J channel is holding this super tight this can't never go nowhere so this ain't gonna like flex out or anything sometimes uh even on this one I kind of gave him a little over bend all right now on this top let's pull an exact number make this real pretty 36 on the nose Give me the same exact numbers. Good over here. It's all right. 
Hello. Oh my god, it looks like you went backwards. Well, we gotta take a piece though. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Want them jackets or what, man? I'm gonna flush this up. first. A little easier. Now what I'm going to do before I mark my 45s, I'm going to try to see how this sits because when I was lining it up, these this side was just barely long enough. These sides are definitely too long, so that has to do with me not having a framing square to cut that when I had it on the ground. So make sure it looks perfect. Oh, it pretty much is. Go dead perfect there. Yeah. Yep. All right. So I'll start, my, I'll start my 45 right there, and then over here I'll start it right there, okay? You can do perfect 45s, you know, I might as well, let's just do perfect 45. Sometimes I don't mind that little bit before you go. So the long, long straights come in handy, I wish I had some on me. I don't even got my reds here. Damn, dude. How many friends do you have? A lot. I have a hard time believing that. <laughs> By the way, if you guys don't recognize the voice behind the camera, that's Jake. He's the new guy, so... You know, it sucks because when I had two Jakes, I came up with Man Cub. I had two Jake, Jacob and Jacob. And it wasn't working calling one Jake and one Jacob. So I came up with Boy Cub and Man Cub. But since Boy Cub has to stay because that's his new name now, um, we can't call him Man Cub. He hasn't earned it. So we're trying to find out a nickname for him. His last name's Hansboro, so I was thinking about hand job or something. But Dude, that looks so good. You see that? Yeah. And you can take a little little cleaning agent, you know, sometimes you use WD-40 or gas, it's probably not good for the metal, so maybe find something better, don't listen to me, but yeah.
Don't forget to breathe, bruh. Damn. Okay. We're good. Uh, this thing ain't coming loose. Um, usually, you can nail or something up top. I would like something in that. Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll run a little caulk here and here and hidden, and that'll keep that tight to that. Just because I can't. Sometimes we'll put a trim nail down through here, down through the J. Um, I've even done them through here too. On occasion. You know, you bend it weird or something along those lines. So yeah, now that's all that's left is to caulk. Boom. And that's all she wrote. Some people might caulk these bottoms here. Um, in my opinion, I don't truly think it's worth it. People are going to be stepping on this. It's got a little wiggle into it anyway. I think it's going to crack anyhow. Um... Plus, you take that piece down? Yeah, I told you I cracked it. Oh. Yeah, I cracked it doing my J block video. Um, the top piece, the one that's a pain in the ass. You probably saw how ugly it is with the angle, and you're probably talking crap to me already on YouTube on a different video. But yeah, we put that in and I screwed it up, boy. I, I screwed it up. Oh, you're doing a bit. <laughs> yeah. So look at um yeah, I don't really like I don't think there's a reason to caulk that. This yellow, this yellow color on here anyway. Um <laughs> it's ruining my life, dude. <laughs> what with the lullabies? Yeah, what's the lullaby happening for at 4:30? <laughs> okay. What I was trying to say is, I think this, I think this uh, yellow, this primed yellow almond color. You see them unpainted, un, uh, unwrapped all the time. It takes a long time for them to rot anyway, so uh, I don't think that. A little bit of water touching that bottom is going to rot out this whole corner. So, like I said, it, you caulk it, it's probably going to crack unless you have something that's fully supported. We, you know, we only had half an edge here. So, it's an old place. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. If you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And then there's probably another video here. There's one there. Oh, sub right there. And uh, I'm not even going to put a video there because I'm going to change it up a little bit. Bye. <laughs>